three things that shock me about our culture. Our culture is something else, let me tell you that. The number one thing, little to no explanations. This is a topic of conversation I wanna bring up with you guys and just think about it. Number one thing that shocks me, how quick we expect things to happen. Instant gratification, social media, how much we spend on social media. I swear to God, if I don't keep myself in check, if I don't consciously make an effort to get off my phone and my social media, I have spent up to 10 hours a day. And I know that most people spend more than that on your cellular device. It's just bizarre to me how important our phones have become to us, how we cannot live life without them. Your emails, your phone numbers, the text messages, everything pins back to your phone. We have calendars on our phones. We have tracking apps on our phone. We have, even when we work out, we have uh, apps that track our steps. We have apps that track our periods. We have uh, calendar reminders. Everything goes back to your phone. Everything is connected back to your phone. This is a little crazy to me. So that's the number one thing that shocks me still about our culture is how we've managed to get here without truly realizing it in my attachment to my own cellular device. I have had to work a lot unconsciously pulling myself away from social media and my cell phone and everything cellular because my inclination is to be on my phone and I cannot go long without my phone, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of us can't, where I need to constantly be checking my phone. Did, did my mom text me? Is somebody needing me? Like, it's just a lot. And it's kind of crazy to think about that we've managed to get here, but this is where we're at. The second thing that still shocks me about our culture is our inability to manage stressors normal life stressors <laughs> like we don't know how to react to big changes we don't react very well to big big changes we don't know how to manage our emotions we don't know how to healthy <laughs> manage our emotions i know a lot of us um have and learned that when we were kids like we weren't taught that when we were kids but we're all in the same boat. Our frustrations and disappointments because of how quick everything has evolved and everything has developed, we expect things to happen so fast. We want everything like now. We want everything like at a hand's reach. Like we expect to set a goal and then immediately have it come to fruition and it's overall life expectancy we have somehow as a union come to the point where we expect heaven on earth we want euphoria happiness satisfaction 24 7 and that is unrealistic it's unrealistic life expectations life comes with disappointment life comes with changes life comes with stressors we as a culture need to learn how to manage life in a healthy way in a realistic way for our own sakes okay the third and final thing that still shocks me about our culture and i'm very i'm giving very little explanations for these mainly because I just want to bring them up, a topic of conversations, and for you guys to think about these things, but hookup culture. Hookup culture and our inability for long-term commitment because of the same reasons where we expect everything to happen so fast and we expect euphoria and happiness out of every single aspect and phase in our life. We think that something is wrong with us or something is wrong with our lives if something doesn't happen immediately or if we're not happy all the time. And I've learned that even in relationships and connections, like you can't be happy all the time, that's unrealistic. So our trust issues, our isolation, our lack of community, we have drawn ourselves inwards and a lot of it 
I know has to do with the era of awakening and uh, being aware of ourselves, but also community is huge. We should want to integrate ourselves back into the community, into our relationships, and our surface level communications. Like we should want to get deeper with other people. We have learned to trust less. We are a lot more cautious about who we talk to and let in our lives, which is healthy, but also damaging in a lot of ways because there can be a way to do it with boundaries where you're still open to your vulnerability, your emotions, and putting yourself out there for connection in that way. And in the same way, we have developed extreme codependency on other people where we're so, so afraid to be vulnerable with the person that we want to cling to them when you do. And that is unhealthy. You want to hold on to the person. You want to almost never let go of this person. It's an unhealthy connection that you develop with people when you allow it to happen. So it's like both sides of the spectrum, but to the extreme. You know what I'm saying? Like we have turned everything extreme. And the normalizing of toxicity in relationships, like unrealistic relational expectations. There are so many memes, TikToks, where they glorify possessiveness, glorify toxicity, where they have made it as a joke now, where they have turned the toxicity in relationships as a joke. So people think it's funny to be like that. And when you start acting like that, you allow it to carry your behavior, where you're gonna act out in this way if you find it funny or think that it's okay. Like TikTok has <laughs> a lot of content of stuff like that where they glorify toxicity. And then you have the unrealistic couples where the, all they're showing you is the happiness, the kissing, the snuggling, and relationships have so much more than just that. So all these things that I have been thinking about and that still shock me about our culture, but this is our reality. These things I want to bring up because I want us to think about them. I want us to put into perspective how we play into these scenarios and how we play into this cultural norm because we are the future. And we should individually be working towards bettering ourselves in those ways and coming to healthy ways to live life where life can be happy, it can be satisfying, it can be euphoric at times, but it's okay to cry, it's okay to be sad, it's okay to have disappointments, it's okay to go through big life changes. And you're going to survive. We shouldn't make one bad phase in our lives, our entire trajectory. In that case, then you would always, you're always gonna be unhappy. You know what I'm saying? You're always gonna be chasing something. Life is life. We're here to experience life as it is in a realistic way and more in a peaceful, satisfying way. So I hope that these things have made you think a little bit about how you play into, into our culture. And a lot of these things we cannot control. I want you to know that, that there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with us. It's just the way that culture has formed us to be and have it has taught us to be. But bringing these things up to the surface, confronting those things within ourselves will allow you to not only be aware of them, but also shift in a more healthy, positive way for the future. So there's nothing wrong with you. I do all of this stuff and I have done all of this stuff. It's part of our culture, like I said. It's how we were raised. So now the power is within us. What do we want to do about it? How do we want to go about it? How do we want to proceed for the future? And what do we want to teach our kids? for future generations. Thank you so much for watching this video. This was three things that still shocked me about our 
culture. I always like to learn new things, always explore new perspectives, and I hope that you have taken the time to truly think about this stuff within your life and yourself and your community. And I hope that it has made you think a little bit. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for being part of my lovely family. I will see you in the next one. Blessings.